so, uh, you want to tell me what you just did here? Because, uh, the garage used to be clean. I stepped foot in it. <laughs> I mean, really, do I need to do any more in the garage than walk into it? I think sometimes just looking at it funny, it gets dirty. Well, I see that you used your say it right. Say it right? Say it right. Say it right. Say it right. Your sewing machine. You're what? The you're LS1? The LS1. Yeah, I use my, uh, the LS and the Datsun. Not the typical LS people talk when they talk Datsun, but hey, I don't do things typically. Well, typically I do things, but I don't do things tip. So tell me what you did. I made a... I played an old card. An old door card. What's that? It's the Masonite-esque uh, material that they use on the door. Inside door skins, they call it a door card. And. On cars or on like house doors? It's a Datsun. <laughs> it's a Datsun. Uh, uh, on car doors. I d don't believe I've. Uh, no, no, definitely not. Not residential or commercial. Maybe, maybe, uh, maybe industrial, but no, I don't think so there either. Mostly just automotive. And I. I don't know if that's newer ones, if they still call them a door card. Yeah, because the bloke from the other side of the pond calls them that, too. So, the yeah, there's a mad uh, Armstrong there. So, um, now that the soil has ran out of the garage and you have chased it, can you tell me what you did with the door? Didn't I just answer that question? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, so, before I had made carbon fiber door panels, and I decided I didn't want to use them. Okay, two questions here. Why did you make carbon fiber door panels? And then follow up with, why did you decide you didn't want to go with them? Uh, I made them because I never made them before and it sounded like a challenge and uh, it was. It was definitely a challenge. There's, there's quite a few things that make the door cards a challenge on these things. But if you compare them to a new car, you're just whining because they're, they're about as easy as you can get in some ways. But I added power windows, power locks, and a speaker into the door. It did not have any wires ran through the door. So in order to fit all that in there, I decided to make it... This is the door panel. Oh, the dust makes it, helps it show up a little bit. So I was going off the, the little whole theme of the old Japanese flag uh, with the sun and whatever, land of rising, whatever you want to call it. Um, I did it with a sub box that you'll see in a later video. And also with the door skin. This, I was just about to lie and say this is completely carbon fiber, but there's some fiberglass on the backside. But up till this point, anything I've done in carbon fiber has been merely a skin, a facade. Um, Enough adjectives? Hmm? Any more adjectives? No. In fact, I think I'll just, so far, everything I've done with carbon fiber has just been skinning it like a cat. No, that's no. not right either. We don't skin cats because the boss would be mad. So this was the door panel I was using. It's all carbon fiber, I made a mold, positive or both parts of the mold it sort of worked um, it was too thick up here so it's hitting the dash and the door wouldn't close so that's why I got rid of this anyways I'll be moving them around I've got a stack of door cards up there got a stack of door cards up there got a stack of door cards up there I see those stack of door cards you got quite a bit of them. So, that squirrel that came around again, it, you know. Oh, why am I not using them? Yeah, why are you not? I, I explained that because this this piece hits the dash and then the door don't close. No, I mean, so, that's, so you, you were explaining why you did what you did. So, 
tell me what you did there on the door. I did some sawing. Um, so I just, this is the, the door card from the 260. The ones that sort of came with this car were absolute trash. I mean, they're, but yet I still have them. Anyways, so now what I'm dealing with is there's this along the top. Is it at the top or is it down one? And yes, here's another version. <laughs> How many versions of these did you make? How many did I make or how many do I still have? Both. Okay, so this one. I'll just sit and let you enjoy it. Isn't it wonderful? But here's one of the problems you deal with. Okay. It has this metal strip on here with the weather stripping. If you pull, you're trying to wrap any material around there. If you go around the outside of this, like I just tried doing. If you go outside of that, well then all of a sudden your window won't go up and down. Which makes the power part of it pretty useless. So. So. Rectifying that right now? Uh, yeah. So here's. So this piece has got is stapled the metal. This this metal piece here. I don't know how to staple in the metal. Uh, so I think the only way you could do it, you have to pull out this weather stripping from the end, one of the ends, and then undo the staples, put it back on, and then re bend the staples yourself. I'm not a patient person, so I don't see that happening right now. And notice, I'll put one door card over here. I'll put one door card over there. Leave them there for a week or so. Trip over them, maybe break something. Hopefully not my neck, but you know, I mean, you gotta do what you gotta do. So Where did I put that knife? It's on the back end of the dock. Right there where I left it. So are you gonna run with this new door skin or? Uh, yes. Um, I'm going to try and not break the window. Ha ha. Ha ha ha. Oh, this calls for wood is good. But it's good. It's a carving hammer. Does what is good, right? Well, used to. Oops, that one just sliced it. Oops. Too good to be true.
see if it's easier with just one layer. Something like that. What kind of fabric are you using? Leather, of course. <laughs> That's what I should be using. But that plan didn't go so well. Yeah, I've gone into it on, I think, two or three different things I've filmed, but they have, any of them have yet to see the light of day. She doesn't seem to be working very well. So is it back to uh, thinking mode or? Is it <laughs> Stop and think? Hell no. I don't do that. Let's go on and try the next thing. What's the next thing? I don't know yet. <laughs> you have to think about it? No. Hell no. Never. That'd be surrender. Trying some uh, Terramender. Tremender. What's that? Glue. Or what? Tears. Okay. No, it's it's a pretty. Uh, actually, uh, oddly enough, Scrammy told me about it. It works pretty good though. Um, pretty much any fabric. Then he told me you should read the directions before you use it. I don't think he meant it though. Well, duh. I mean, why would he even say something like that to me? I 
Come on. I didn't know I was going to try and do this when I put this on there. And uh, if I did, I probably would have done things a little different. I don't know what, but cause this is actually working. I mean, oh, of course it's working. yeah, of course, you know why? I know why, but tell them. Because you're wonderful and amazing and absolutely brilliant. Yeah. Everything you do. Yeah. Your ideas. That sounds cheesy. <laughs> Wow, the way you said it there. Normally it doesn't. That nah, still sounded cheesy. You win. You win. No, I think I'm going to be putting it back on to do it because they have something solid to pry on that way. But I have to get the material up from underneath it so it goes down all the way. Gotcha. You know, just trim it right. Probably too much. I'm sure that's the way I do things. Never. You never do projects more than once. I know. I mean, if, it, if I did, you'd see more than one door panel around here, door card. That's because you haven't looked where the other ones are. So how did you get the uh, fabric to adhere to the door cart? Super 7-7. Seven seven. That is a spray adhesive made by the 3M company right, right here in Minnesota. And now we get the benefits of the forever chemicals in our water because we're downstream from 3M. Yay, 3M. They make some damn good glue though. And the sandpaper. Yeah, I mean, I would trade the PF, the, the P, what are they, PPF? PFAS. The PFAS for some free sandpaper, like lifetime supply of sandpaper. I think that's reasonable. Maybe some good drinking water would be Oh yeah, I mean, but I mean. I mean, sandpaper, I mean, who can't live without sandpaper? Well, I don't care about anyone else. Oh, did I say, free sandpaper for me. <laughs> free. As long as you have your liquid pass, you're fine. Yes, darling. Oh, one more click. But with the chief there and the people who are arguing about why they got pulled over and the baby, here's the update. All
my time with On Patrol Live. We think it's fair. No, but neither is life, so. I mean, you already won the lottery with me, so well, I don't know what more you need. That is very, very true, dear. I'm one lucky gal. I think you need to say a little more convincing, but. I'm one lucky gal. So this looks much better without all that extra fabric. Yeah, but I did cut it too short. I'll just glue the piss out of it up top and call it a day. Is there like a, a strip that goes across the top of it or like a, a window strip or something? No, that, that is the strip. No, no, it is not. I, I don't know if that's with how they came from the factory because I didn't get the door handles with this car. So I just assumed they were made out of wood and had dots and barely carved into it deep enough to read it. I'm trying to get to the dots, but it keeps getting in the way. Well, you got to gotta look real hard. Oh, okay, there it is. We're talking about the dots, right? <laughs> okay, because you got. <laughs> you can't even see you there. Oh. I mean, I can see you because you're so wonderful and absolutely amazing. And everything you So do you need to finish cutting out the little space for that door name? How does it, does it wrap up around that door name? Well, there's, there's... Or is there a guard that goes around? There, yeah, there's a little trim piece on there, but I'm not sure where I put them. I just saw them, which means they could be anywhere. Ah, so, other than, you know, the fact that you're always working on the Datsun, because it's a Datsun. It's a Datsun. Why are you working on it tonight? Uh... The car show that I'll be taking it to tomorrow, where absolutely no one will appreciate a Datsun. There might be one or two. But it's in historic Hastings, downtown. It's Rivertown Days, which is our town's festival. And the reception this car gets there. I think it's mixed reviews. It does, it's not necessarily. Oh, it's looked over. It's like it's not even there. Maybe, 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 maybe there are uh, people that go to this car show. It has to be of certain volume for them to notice because there's not many small cars there. Or American made. This ain't American made. I know the other cars. Oh yeah, most of those are. See, there was used to be a crank right here for the window. Now, kids these days will never understand what it was like to actually have to crank a window and when you, how irritating it was when somebody went over to the passenger side window instead of the driver side window and you had to lean across and crank the damn thing open. No, no, no. What's worse is when you had a passenger and they got out of the car, they left the window rolled down. And then you had to run over to <laughs> yeah. crank it back up. Yeah. If they if they go to the passenger side and you know that power window, it's like, what the fuck you want, go to the other door. Or what the heck you want? It's hard to believe that that was 
you know, 20 years ago, whenever manual windows were still coming in. Hot. Oh. They, yeah, they still do them, though. They still do them, but it's just not as common. No, it is not. I know my first car had... Yeah. Well, I, I know that you put, um, what, it, what is it called, um, kill mat? Kill mat, yeah. On the inside of the door. Yep. And then you put the door skin? Yep. Well, there's, there's kill mat on the outside skin, on the inside skin, and... So, whenever we take it... For a ride, it's not going to be really loud and anymore. Or will this help deaden the noise after? This should, this putting this door panel should make it a lot quieter where you sit. What the fuck am I going into? No, there's just a power window in my pocket. Not happy to see you. <laughs> um, all right, they're not going to be door speakers? No. Ah. Uh. Now they're floor speakers. Oh, they're floor speakers? They're floor speakers. Oh, I'm going to have to go up there and see them. But they, were, they were in there when we drove it earlier. Acceptable, Whitey? 